dear learners welcome to you english class i am mohammad rajumia assistant professor of english government begum rokeya college rampur i hope you are well by the grace of almighty allah today we will learn preposition this is very important topic in english grammar preposition is a part of is this preposition is very important pre means before position means situations preposition means before situation it sits before noun or pronoun or a noun equivalent and this is very important topic and it you will have to learn it from different angle very carefully otherwise you will be not able to answer in the examination form so let us learn situation of preposition look dear learners situation of preposition there are eight situations of preposition preposition may sits before noun before pronoun before adjective before infinitive before adverb at proper of time and place before phrase before clause before zero now we have to make it clear by discussing it elaborately let us learn about before noun how a preposition sits before a noun Look, such as Rathon lives in Rangpur. Rathon lives in Rangpur. This is a preposition. Uh, it is before Rangpur. Rangpur is a noun. So this is. before a noun where does rathon lives rathon lives in rangpur number 2 before pronoun a preposition may sits before pronoun such as i am satisfied with him i am satisfied with him this preposition sits before him him is pronoun and it sits before this pronoun so a preposition may also sits before a pronoun number 3 before adjective he is in a severe problem what is the preposition here this is a preposition in this is adjective this also adjective this also adjective and this preposition sits before adjective so uh, as it can as a preposition can sits before noun pronoun it also can sits before a an adjective number 4 
before infinity. A preposition can also see <coughs> before a verb. When a preposition sits before a verb, it is called infinitive. Such as, we have to learn preposition. We have to learn preposition. Here, to is a preposition and it sits before learn. This is a verb. So, uh, this preposition is called infinitive. So, a preposition can sit before a verb. When it sits before a verb, it is called infinitive. Dear learners, let us uh, go to number 5. Before praise. <coughs> a preposition also can sit before a praise. Such as we take we take class. Every week, instead of every day, we take class every week instead of every day. Here, in it sits before a phrase instead of. So, a, phrase, a preposition can sit before a phrase. We take class every week instead of every day. As it is problem, for what is going on in, in our country. So, we don't take class every day uh, because our college is closed. We take our class every week as per our schedule. Dear learners, let us go to number 6. Number six, before close, I can't really what you say. I can't really. My, means I can I cannot defend this is preposition I can really on what you say means I cannot really I cannot defend on what you say this is a preposition and this preposition sits before what you say this is a close Uh, so, a preposition can also be for a close. It is clear to us. And let us go uh, next point 7. Before adverbial adverb of place and place and time. Before Dear learners, a preposition can sit before an adverb. Such as, Hussain uh, is far 
away from here. Look, uh, this is the sentence. Hussein is far away from here. I mean, Hussein away from here. Uh, this is a uh, uh, place, adverbial place. And uh, from is the preposition. This preposition shifts before here. So, this is uh, this uh, shifts before adverbial place. Adverb place. And this is from. So, sign is far away from here. Number 8. Okay. Let, uh, let us go to last number. Okay, another thing, 